We now want to go to the latest on the concerns aboard the USS George Washington docked in Newport News. And addressing those concerns today, Congresswoman Elaine Loria toured the vessel and heard directly from sailors about their issues. Now, this comes after three sailors were recently found dead, reported suicides within one week's time. News 3 investigator Zach Dahlheimer joins us live in the studio. So, Zach, what did Loria have to say after meeting with these sailors? Well, Congresswoman Loria Kurt said that she is that there are a lot of concerns, especially many sailors are still taking it hard, especially after everything that happened aboard the George Washington. But we also talked with Navy officials and they're taking immediate action with investigations. They've assigned one investigation to look into the three suicides. They're also looking at another investigation, a broader one into command, climate and culture, also systemic stressors to working in a shipyard environment. Now this includes parking situations, for instance, where the George Washington is docked. Now here's a look right here at Congressman Loria touring the George Washington this afternoon. This all comes after she sent a letter to Navy officials demanding answers about the conditions on board the aircraft carrier. In that letter, she stated that this many deaths under a single command are concerning. Now we talked with Rear Admiral John Meyer about what they're providing for help one of the things they're doing to help sailors on the George Washington is they're offering hundreds of them opportunities to live elsewhere off the ship at Norfolk Naples Shipyard. We found spaces for them. This will be at no cost to the sailors. It will increase their commuting time, certainly, but it will also improve the quality of life for them. And Kurt Barber, this all comes after a meeting between sailors and Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Russell Smith. He said they've hired more health care workers but still need more and that they're putting chaplains on destroyers and smaller ships for the first time. Now, when asked by a sailor why chaplains instead of psychiatrists, Smith said psychiatrists are harder to find. Now, we asked Meyer and Congresswoman Luria about this after what happened on the George Washington, and we've also posted the number for the Suicide Prevention Lifeline that's right now on your screen. You'll hear more from them on all of this coming up later on News 3 at 11. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.